Hi Gemini, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for June the 29th till the 5th of July. I hope you have enjoyed this week, um, although it's not finished but I am taping this on the 23rd first, so the 29th to the 5th of July this is your, going to be your reading and I'm doing my nine card spread again I'll do the spiel at the end and um, thank you very much for your likes and shares my cyber angels and if anybody is new welcome to the channel I hope you will enjoy um, this is the uh, Aquarian card or uh, the overall energy card this is Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday and the four corner cards will confirm the three cards around it or the three cards will confirm the corner card and I'm using the Sharma uh, shaman mystical shaman deck and I'm also doing an extra which I've been doing for the last couple of days in the weeklies I'm using the tarot with the chakra and I'm going to take the overall energy of the reading card the middle in the querent card so that it will feel a little bit more personal and um, I will be going into it uh, slowly but steadily and if you like to get into it yourself then have a look at the review and you can order the book yourself so let's get started with your reading you have the star so the first card is the star that could be you or there could be the energy the overall energy this week you have the star so a wish or goal is coming true 1 and 7 as it's 17 is 8 so you're back in your power you've got the power to change things to make the by making decisions or um, giving it a reaction or taking action so make sure you do the right thing that you take the right action and you react adjustly okay um, the cat is having a fit here <laughs> she's playing with a receipt I don't know where she got it from hold on sorry she is wanting attention because she was sitting on the card so if the skew with sorry and now Ma Millie is getting into action okay getting back so take the right decision if you don't know what decision to make when an offer is made for example uh, that could be uh, fulfilling your goal or your wish then ask for advice or help so if you've got for example if you haven't got a job and you've been to job to job interviews that is your wish um, you don't know which one to choose then talk to somebody about it for example a career officer uh, uh, you, I can do that as well if you like talk with you so if you need help with that then give me um, a sign through email okay on Monday you have the moon well how appropriate so let's take this situation of getting a job um, the moon is that you've been walking a path to get a job that is your wish perhaps you went for something that you don't know too much about or it is quite mysterious to you because as the moon has a dark side it means mystery also the, uh, in this deck the moon is wearing a mask so somebody could be wearing a mask and could be giving you a job or offering you a job um, that there are some mysteries about or secrets um, that could be acting suspiciously so listen to your intuitive um, feeling okay and listen to the ideas or message that you're getting through thinking or dreaming and that's a Siamese if you're hearing her she's calling out sorry about that the moon also means there might be a Pisces because the moon represents Pisces 
but you need more information so ask for help and don't be scared to ask help or opinion there you are she is wanting to come into the picture she wants to be the star boom <laughs> and so you're on the right po pa path though the yellow brick road leading to the north node to your goal so make sure you've got all the information and listen to your intuition your emotions might be heightened because you've got two um, spotlights the star gives light on your path as well as the moon and the sun but we haven't got the sun here but we've got the sun here so you've got the three spotlights this is very very big now there could also be a cancer involved because we have the lobster or a cancer here as well and that represents um, cancer so it could be a Pisces or a cancer so and the star is Aquarius okay so there you are you've got two water signs and one air sign so air means listening wisdom communication um, justice uh, uh, clarity so get the clarity before you take the next step big message here okay and not only that but um, ask for help seek help okay let's have a look um, then on Wednesday we have the high priestess again highlighting your essences highlighting your spirituality and your emotions she also represents the goon, uh, the god a uh, moon goddess so she uh, plays her cards close to the chest ask for um, help but don't disclose every single detail only what is necessary and only what you know she plays the cards close to her chest as she has the wis book of wisdom uh, she always carries it but look how close she holds it against her chest she plays her cards close to her chest she doesn't uh, show everybody the back of her tongue in other words she doesn't tell everything she knows she knows the life secrets because she can w uh, move between two worlds the light and the dark you've got the two trees here so that are the angels giving you that those are the pillars giving you a porthole to step through to a new beginning and that is what the moon is more uh, the star is more or less as well as your dream or goal is coming wish is coming true you are in balance you are listening to your intuition good person and here you've got number 18 something 9 is coming to an end that is on Monday and where there is an end there is a new beginning we've got the Knight of Cups so there could be a job offer there could be an offer or love or passion okay this could be again cancer oh, sorry uh, cancer cancer here and then we've got uh, the Pisces is the moon but we've got the crab here as well cancer cancer seems dominant because I skipped um, Pisces and cancer the go uh, the god moon the m goddess of the moon she represents again Pisces cancer and Pisces are prominent to Scorpio okay don't forget Scorpio the water signs are quite prominent so there could be a job in healthcare it could be that you are working in a hospital or in a, a GP practice uh, that's a general practitioner's practice or uh, in a service and you might be working behind the reception desk but you are being of service and caring about people and nurturing at the weekend we have the four of pentacles uh, four means stability proper foundations you don't have to hold on to your money anymore and like you this look at this this is in the row um, with emotions okay you're closed off your heart chakra you've closed off your heart your solar plex 
you're holding on to the old. Let go so that the new can come in. Nine and the star, your wish. Now these two, uh, these two cards is listen to your emotions, okay? And listen to those ideas. Emotions come from the solar plex. That's the chakra for happiness and joy and emotions. So open it up and open your heart. Open your mind. Usually there's coins in front, on top and two at his feet. He's closed himself off. Don't hold on to the old here and let the new come in. Gemini. If you have had to scrimp and save and hold on to your money, then now there will be a new beginning that you can save a little bit of money and open up to let it in. Also don't hold on to people and the past, so open up and let go. It is a beautiful new beginning. Now we're going to start off with the first corner card and you've got the Knight of Swords. This could be you Gemini, but you could also be meeting a Libra or an Aquarius. You're getting news. This could be news through cyber, air, email, text message, telephone call or um, telephone call, email, text message uh, or airmail. Wow. And the swords stand for clarity, justice. You needed more information, okay? So you've done the research or you asked a professional as they also stand for justice. This could be municipalities or a lawyer or an advocate. Um, that is also a municipality or institutions. You could have asked a career officer. They usually work for the government as well, in also institutions and municipalities. And a lawyer is also from um, an uh, institution. Okay, so you might be seeking help and you've done the research, asked for help, and they've done the research for you, and they're giving you clarity that will make it easier for you to move on and to know what to do since you are closed off and you can't might not have any idea what to do and you are listening to your senses but you don't know so this person could be an air person a water person here we've got the aquarian so it could be an aquarian gemini that is giving you advice or a as the star is Aquarian, but it could also be a Libra or a Gemini, don't forget that. Or a, a, a Pisces or um, because of the lobster cancer. Okay, so that you can open up and relax and see what is coming in towards you there is definitely a lot of happiness coming in because you've got the ten of cups so you will be emotionally fulfilled perhaps reunion with family and friends perhaps reunion with old colleagues your cup is filled an end of difficulties as ten is an end where there is an end there is a new beginning perhaps ex expansion of your business or a promotion wage rise and that is what you wished for and that is what you've been working towards so you have tread and stayed on the same path to your northern note and you are going to get there you've done the research you know the secrets you and you've got clarity right it's right next to the card of justice and clarity and honesty you have seen the daylight and you are taking that portal to the new beginning that is given you by the cosmos and the universe and the angels you have been guided to take this path of fulfillment now you have the king
king of swords as well so if you are in a judicial situation because we've got two swords we've got the knight and the king here it is already showing you are moving up to the next status the king this king will cut straight through the BS and to the core to get clarity. He will fight for you on behalf of you. And this, the king, is Gemini. So you will be in your top form. You'll feel whoopee! Yes! Happy days are back again. The energy is utmost fantastic super super duper okay you will be right up there right up at the top uh, we, we have closed off uh, Gemini and we now in cancer now you can nurture yourself a little bit open up let the love in okay that's nurturing cancer stands for love passion you are going full force into uh, passion there you go this is you this is your wish and it's coming to fulfillment wow and I don't usually do this in the general reading the diagonal lines or whatever and just taking the weeklies okay so wow your wish is coming true you're opening up and you're going to accept an offer most probably from a water sign that has helped you a cancer most probably or a Pisces absolutely beautiful and the last corner card or a Scorpio as death is Scorpio look at this little Scorpio he might be small but he's making an impact cancer Scorpio or Pisces so we have uh, Pisces here we've got the cancer here again Pisces here and we've got cancer Pisces and Scorpio there and Scorpio again there so let your emotions flow emotion of happiness that could be expansion okay in the family or in business now before I um, go on to the chakra and tarot I'm just going to break this emotional happiness for a minute and go to the ultimate we have the Sun now we know what the Sun means in tarot that means happiness new beginnings going up a next level moving home or the business um, also going on holiday there might be a Leo now this is the Sun this is an Oracle card so just keep that the Sun meaning from the tarot in the back of your mind and you've got number 53 which is 8 which means you are in your power this is you Jim okay but if there is somebody else um, giving you advice it could be a Libra or an Aquarius they are also in the spread especially Aquarius you have the Sun you are in your power the money house and powerhouse you're in your strength the Sun is acknowledged by many cultures as the foremost masculine force you are strong as a man here is the man okay in other traditions it is seen as a feminine in her full power we all have the masculine and the feminine in our um, beings lives bodies spirit feminine in her full power either way it is the most brilliant light of all beings and allows a life to sprout from the dark from the dark uh, the moon the dark side and here dark we're going into the lights feminine earth 
It can be gentle and warming close to sunrise and sunset, fall or winter. Or it can be destructive, as in its zenith during the scorching summer. The task or invitation, have you been hibernating? Have you been introspective? Yes, we have been introspective. We've been waiting for this change, Gemini. Already for months it's been positive readings and getting in better and better and improving. Believe in it, it is going to happen. Even although the COVID is here and is still here or has been and is still here, it is going to happen. There are always a little bit of bumps in the road. So don't give up. It is time to come out of your cave and save a life-giving light of our star. The sun, is re uh, the sun rekindles your passion. Okay. And your creative energy. We are creative gems. Okay, very creative. Life is calling you to shine your light and to add the likeness and humor. Yes, we are humorous. We are comedians if we want to be. To the seriousness around you. Get out and play. Let your inner child come out, Jimmy Gem Gems. I know we are the third house. We are the child. So come out of your shell. Now we have the uh, court card and the court card uh, is the star and the star has several signs and this it means this sign means the crown chakra let's I'll show you here you are the crown chakra so the divine light which is also like the rays of the sun is going through your crown chakra now if you don't know where your crown chakra is this is your crown chakra that's where it's going to go through okay I'm not going too much into uh, the signs the green triangle is the air sign okay and we've got the touch sign and that is fixed then we have the Aquarian sign and the sign of the chakra which is the crown chakra now like I said the star is fulfillment the star is reaching your goal um, reaching uh, your wish is coming true so I'm just going and the air chakra is the heart chakra so open up your heart like I said and your solar plex and your mind to let in the new now uh, this is the Gemini reading so uh, we have um, the Gemini are the shoulders in the chakras or in the elements and the element is air and this is the Aquarius energy which means independent and also you might um, Aquarius also stands anatomic uh, at body wise at anatomy wise stands for ankles well if you can't stand on uh, if your ankles aren't stable then you cannot stand in your power so now you have the Aquarian energy your ankles will support you and you will be in your strength now the attributes of the star according to the author of the book let's see the star is glowing yes you are the star you are in the spotlight big time optimistic charismatic she represents hope and balance you are in balance because you've got the Sun from the Oracle the star signifies the essence of spiritual regeneration 
This is confident and pure in both her inner and outer qualities. Yes, she is about being peaceful and inspired. The star is where dreams come true. Spiritual is the inner, outer is the sun. That's for me. Advice. Getting the star card does not mean becoming a celebrity. It is to be accepted and acknowledged as bringing inspiration um, and the renewal of inner and outer spiritual and artistic qualities. The star card suggests that the ancestral understanding, the spiritual side of it, and greater patterns of meaning are being channeled to you from the celestial realm of the greater or higher self, your spiritual consciousness. There you go, your higher self. It could be something from a past life if you believe in reincarnation. It is in your subconscious. It also could mean your subconscious is coming to the next level. Right? The sun into consciousness. I experienced my own star quality. And this is the story. Uh, Jerry has been in and out of politics his whole life. One time I saw him on the uh, uh, on a almost desolated street. He wasn't in the public eye, yet he glowed. It's like I say, be positive, reset that mind of yours, it's swift, so you can be happy, and you are flexible, Gemini, so beam that love, open up, and let the negative go, step away from it. I know it's hard, but believe it. Visualize it, manifest it, meditate and contemplate and evaluate. Evaluate how you can change from the negative into positive. I could see him a block away. I experienced my own star. So start beaming. Be the star and be the beacon. I experienced my own star quality at my launch party for my Polarity Wellness Tarot deck. I gave a presentation about something that has never existed before and was able to spontaneously relay every clear, everything clearly. I was told that I glowed. I looked and felt great. Finally, I was coming into my own. And then you're coming back into life. Rebirth like the sun. A new beginning. A birth of a child or a project. And that's when, when we are the beacon, we are happy. We are attractive. And that's how we tra attract others. So just be the beacon. Now the third eye chakra, or the crown chakra, is on the top of the head. The color is gold, violet, or light, like the, uh, the white light. Those are the colors to wear, to feel good, to be in the pure light. That works for your spirituality and protection. Focalization is silence. Only speak when you need to speak, like the High Priestess. Symbol is the lotus flower with sixteen or a thousand petals. The planet for the crown chakra is the sun. There you go. And Uranus. The Sanskrit name is Sash. Ra, ra. The function is liberating. You will be liberated once your goal or wish comes true. But you have to work at it. It won't just happen by itself. And the quality will give you fulfillment. 
Now that is an awesome way. This is an awesome reading. I'm enjoying this chakra, tarot and chakra. I hope you have enjoyed. The death card, remember, is transformation. You are tra uh, transforming big time. You've also got the Holy Trinity. To me, this is just what's coming in just now. The star, the moon and the sun. The three, the Holy Trinity. The angels are giving you the doorway. The triangle is also protective. Clarity and justice will come if you are in a judicial situation. So stand in your power, James. You are the king, literally and figuratively. He's in the reading. You're no longer the knight. You're moving up. So go for it. You're the star. I love it. Thank you for liking and sharing the videos. Welcome if you're a new viewer. Please join me or us in the tea room on Wednesday, Friday and Monday. Keep the notification button community on YouTube. Keep an eye on that or join Facebook. Keep an eye on that or Instagram as I put out notifications because YouTube is not uh, doing it uh, as often or properly. Some technical fault most probably but people are mm, asking me why they're not getting notified if you do subscribe and click on the bell click on all and then you should be notified otherwise let YouTube know you are not getting notified and you are first of the week because we had 92 likes this is being the star gems so keep on clicking that higher and higher share it with your gem friends and family members or colleagues keep on going up 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 it's great it's i feel like a star i'm happy so be the beacon and be the star you are a star everybody is but this week it's your turn take care and I uh, this week and stay safe and if you would like a one-on-one -on -one reading then have a look below this video um, and that's where uh, in the description box or click on the uh, white uh, the white circle with the eye then you can be taken to um, the webs my website and you will also be taken to an other Reiki master like me that also works with the chakras Brenda Tarot readings and you have more options. Go and see her. We She comes into the life as well and she's my moderator but we work together in other ways as well. So take care, enjoy this week and be blessed. I love you and if you're new then join us in the live sessions and you will become a cyber angel. Ciao ciao and have a look at the competition video if you would like to receive one of these f um, decks the Shadowlands I'm doing a competition you can win a brand new deck from Shadowlands take care, God bless